Welcome to our video guide on understanding net worth and how to calculate it easily. Whether you're new to financial planning or looking to deepen your understanding, this video will provide you with a simple, step-by-step -step approach to grasp the concept of net worth and its significance in your financial journey. Understanding net worth. Let's start with the basics. Net worth is a fundamental measure of your financial health. It represents the difference between what you own your assets and what you owe your liabilities at a specific point in time. Essentially, it's a snapshot of your financial position. Assets can include your savings, investments, real estate, vehicles and valuable possessions like jewellery or art. Liabilities encompass your debts such as mortgages, student loans, credit card balances and other financial obligations. To calculate your net worth, you simply subtract your total liabilities from your total assets. A positive net worth indicates that your assets exceed your liabilities, while a negative net worth signals that your debts outweigh your assets. Why net worth matters? Understanding your net worth is crucial for several reasons. It provides a clear picture of your financial standing and helps you track your progress towards financial goals. It can also guide your decisions regarding saving, spending and investing. For instance, knowing your net worth can help you prioritize debt repayment, identify opportunities for investment, and plan for major expenses such as buying a home or funding your retirement. Calculating your net worth. Now, let's walk through a step-by-step-by-step -step -step process to calculate your net worth. Step one, list your assets. Start by listing all your assets. This includes cash and savings accounts, investments such as stocks, bonds, mutual funds, retirement accounts like 401k or IRAs, real estate properties, primary residence, rental properties, vehicles and other valuable personal possessions. Step 2. Assign monetary values. Assign a monetary value to each asset. For cash and savings, use the exact amount. For investments and real estate, use current market values. For personal possessions, estimate their resale value. Step 3. Total your assets. Add up the monetary values of all your assets to get your total asset value. Step 4. List your liabilities. Next, list all your liabilities. Step 5. Determine outstanding balances. Determine the outstanding balance for each liability. For mortgages and loans, use the remaining principal balance. For credit cards, use the current balance owed. Step 6. Total your liabilities. Add up the outstanding balances of all your liabilities to get your total liability value. Step 7. Calculate your net worth. Finally, subtract your total liabilities from your total assets. The result is your net worth. Once you've calculated your net worth, it's important to interpret the figure in context. A positive net worth indicates financial health and suggests that you have more assets than liabilities. A negative net worth suggests that your debts exceed your assets, highlighting areas for improvement and financial planning. Remember, your net worth is not static and can change over time based on factors like investments, debt repayment and changes in asset values. If your net worth is lower than you'd like, consider these strategies to improve it increase your savings and investments, pay down high interest debts aggressively, monitor your spending and budget effectively, seek opportunities for additional income. By focusing on these areas, you can gradually increase your assets and reduce your liabilities, thereby enhancing your overall financial position.